Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your QuickBooks online account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you unlink or disconnect your credit card account from your QuickBooks online account? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you need to unlink your credit card account from your QuickBooks? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know that sometimes you cancel credit cards or maybe you're going to use them for personal reasons. So you don't want them connected to your QuickBooks. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your QuickBooks online account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I've already logged into my QuickBooks account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to unlink a credit card account, what you're going to do is click on this arrow next to menu. And once you click on it, it's going to give you a drop down. And next you want to go ahead and hover over transactions and then click on bank transactions. Okay. So once you do that, you're going to see all of the accounts that you have linked to your QuickBooks. You can see on my credit card right here. So once you've found the credit card that you would like to unlink from your QuickBooks online, you want to click on this little pencil icon on the top right of that box. Once you do that, you're going to see these two options and you want to click on this one, edit account info. Okay. So once you do that, you're going to see more information about your credit card account in QuickBooks. However, in order to unlink it, you want to click on this little box down here at the bottom called disconnect this account on save. Once you click on that box, it's going to turn green and then you want to click on save and close here at the bottom. Okay. A quick second later, the page refreshes. Now you can see my credit card has been removed and unlinked from my QuickBooks account. So if I need to pull transactions, I will need to set up that connection once again. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to unlink or remove a credit card account from your QuickBooks online, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.